If you've spent enough time in Fallout 2, then one of the places that you're most likely to visit during the main objective of the game is called Vault City. Vault City is a highly advanced settlement in the Fallout universe that, at least as we find it in Fallout 2, is known for its strict policies, including a complete ban on chems and real alcohol. This policy has had an impact on the city and its citizens, as well as any travelers that happen to find themselves inside of the city. In this video, we will explore the history of Vault City, the reasons behind their ban on chems and alcohol, and the impact that it has had on the Fallout universe. So to begin, let's briefly discuss what Vault City actually is as we find it while playing Fallout 2, and their relationship with the rest of the Wasteland, to draw a little bit of context for this video. Vault City was founded by a group of people who emerged from Vault 8, which was one of the very few control vaults in the entire Project Safehouse program which meant that Vault 8 had no scientific experiment designed for it. Instead, the Vault inhabitants were released 14 years after the Great War, with an all-clear signal being received and at the order of the Overseer. The residents of Vault 8 were highly educated and had access to advanced technology, which allowed them to thrive in the wasteland. When they emerged from the Vault, they found that the world outside was a dangerous and lawless place, where the strong preyed upon the weak and survival was the only goal. Keep in mind that the residents of Vault 8 were released after only 14 years from the Great War, so many of the factions that we know from the West Coast, such as the NCR and the Brotherhood of Steel, were not yet established or developed enough to make contact. To protect themselves in their way of life, the residents of Vault 8 decided to establish a new settlement, which they called Vault City. Using the Vault's equipped GEC, or Garden of Eden Creation Kit, combined with the power from Vault 8's fusion generator, they created fertile grounds for farming, as well as new buildings. The city itself was also built around the vault's central computer, which allowed the residents to maintain a high level of technological sophistication and organization. Over time, Vault City grew and prospered, becoming one of the most advanced and successful communities in the wasteland. The city was clean and well organized, with the most advanced medical facilities in the wasteland, their own reliable power source, and a professionally trained and well-equipped security force. The people of Vault City were highly intelligent and had a strict code of conduct that governed their behavior. One of the most notable aspects of Vault City is their ban on chems and alcohol. The residents of Vault City believe that these substances are harmful and can lead to addiction and other negative consequences, which has eventually proven to be a major problem in other places, such as New Reno. As a result, anyone caught using or selling chems or alcohol within Vault City's borders are severely punished as well as any travelers from the wasteland who would come into Vault City are not allowed to bring chems or alcohol inside. The ban on chems and alcohol has both positive and negative effects on Vault City. On the one hand, it has helped to maintain the city's clean and orderly atmosphere. The lack of addiction and substance abuse has allowed the people of Vault City to remain focused on their work and studies, while limiting any negative effects of chem or alcohol use. On the other hand, the ban has also created a sort of black market for chems and alcohol. Many people in the wasteland are addicted to these substances and are willing to pay a high price to get their fix. This has led to an influx of shady characters into Vault City who are willing to risk the punishment for selling drugs and alcohol. From a societal point of view, this sense of superiority combined with their isolationist practices has led to a lack of empathy and understanding towards the rest of the wasteland's population. The people of Vault City often view outsiders with suspicion and disdain, seeing them as uneducated and uncivilized. This attitude has led to conflicts with other groups in the wasteland, such as the ghouls at the Gecko power plant. The ban on chems and alcohol could also have negative effects on some of the residents of Vault City. While addiction and substance abuse are certainly harmful, the argument can be made that the ban is overly strict and limits the citizens' personal freedom. Some might argue that they should be allowed to make their own choices about what substances they consume, and that the ban could be an infringement on their individual rights. With all this being said, however, you might be surprised to learn that Vault City actually has a bar inside of the city walls called the Parlor Room. Even though there is a bar in the city, they don't actually serve alcohol, or at least the alcohol that we can receive out in the wasteland. Instead, the Parlor Room serves exclusively synthetic alcohol, called Alcohol Z. Alcohol Z is a synthetic substitute for alcohol that is sold in Vault City as an alternative to the real thing. This product is created by the city scientists and is made to provide the taste and sensation of alcohol without the negative side effects of addiction and intoxication. 
The decision to create Alcohol Z and not sell real alcohol in Vault City is a reflection of the city's strict code of conduct and desire to maintain a highly organized and technologically advanced society. The residents of Vault City believe that real alcohol is harmful and can lead to addiction and other negative consequences. By creating Alcohol Z, they can provide a substitute that satisfies people's desire for alcohol without exposing them to the potential dangers of addiction. While some people in the wasteland may view this as a form of control or oppression, the scientists of Vault City could see it as a way to maintain a healthy and productive society. With this being said, however, the synthetic alcohol apparently doesn't hold a match when compared to the real thing. In fact, one of the bartenders in Vault City, named Lydia, will pay you to smuggle in alcohol, as well as talk about how real alcohol is compared to the synthetic-made stuff. As an example, she says in a conversation with the Chosen One, quote, I used to have a, well, I used to know this merchant who had a bottle of Mad Dog 3030. Bitter stuff, couldn't feel my tongue afterwards, but it was refreshingly different. Mad Dog 3030 is obviously a reference to the real world mixed beverage MD 2020. On a personal note, if people in the wasteland find the equivalent of MD 2020 refreshing, then I would honestly hate to try some of the other things that they make because MD-2020 is way too sweet and always gave me a killer headache afterwards. With that being said though, Vault City is a fascinating location in the world of Fallout 2, and its ban on chems and alcohol is a complex and interesting aspect of its culture. While the ban and synthetic substitutes have helped to maintain the city's clean and orderly atmosphere, it has also created a black market for these substances and a sense of superiority among the residents. Certainly, there is the argument that could be made that the issues of substance abuse and intoxication can be lessened in Vault City's highly proficient medical environment, especially in a universe where anti-addiction substances such as Addictol and Fixer are present. Additionally, having alcohol or chems present inside of the shops and bars could be considered to be an additional revenue stream to the city, similar to how it works in Fallout 4's Diamond City, where the mayor taxes all chems that come into the city. Also, in the real world, alcohol is historically used as a catalyst for social interaction. The lack of alcohol might make it difficult for inhabitants to socialize and bond. Since alcohol is often seen as a social lubricant, it's possible that the lack of alcohol can further the feeling of loneliness in the citizens since the city is so isolated anyways. Ultimately, the ban on camps and alcohol is a reflection of Vault City's strict code of conduct and its desire to maintain a highly organized and technologically advanced society. Whether this approach is the right one is a matter of debate, but it certainly makes for an interesting point to think about for morality and purity in the wasteland. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video on Vault City and their ban on alcohol. I hope to make a video soon with more detail on Vault City and their history. So if that's something that you would be interested in, please consider subscribing because that's the best way to support me. If you did enjoy this video, please also consider leaving a like because it helps this video engage with YouTube's algorithm and allows more people to view it. Other than that, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day.